Hey guys, my name is Manoli, and today I'm gonna to show you how to upload your Amazon brand store design in eight easy steps. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so eight easy steps here. We're gonna to go to our manage stores by going to stores, manage stores. We're going to click create store, or if you already have one, you can just click edit store. We're going to add brand store details. Step three is just if you're creating a new store. So if you already have a store, you can just skip step three. Step four, we're going to create our homepage layout by adding content blocks into sort of a template. Uh, step five, we're gonna add media to every content block we created. Step six, for each picture or image or video, we're going to apply ASINs or store pages to the relevant content blocks. Step seven, add new pages and repeat steps four through six. So create the layout, upload the content, you know, and add links. Once we have all the pages designed, step eight, submit for publishing. So let's hop into Amazon and show you what we're talking about here. Okay, so we're in Amazon Seller Central. Like we said, we're gonna come up here to the menu, stores, manage stores. In this case, we're going to click edit store. And actually, we're actually not gonna edit this store. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new version up here. So up here, there's version, you know, our live versions here we're gonna create new version. So you can actually have multiple versions uh, of your brand store within the builder, which is pretty cool. So we're just gonna say Baklava version two. So we're gonna create version. We're gonna edit now and bear with me, I'm just gonna delete all this content real quick. Okay, so I've deleted all of the content blocks. I wasn't able to delete the header, but that's okay, no problem. So. I'm in Photoshop, I can see my design, and I know that I have a shoppable image, and then two image, two image, two image, big image, big image. So I'm just gonna show you kind of what that looks like when we're building it out here. So we're gonna come over here to the right, add new section, and I know we're starting with a shoppable image. So I'm gonna come down here and click shoppable image. Then we have three two image sections. So we're gonna click done in the top left, add new section, split section, two image. We're gonna do that again, two image. Add new section, split section, two image. And then we have an image and an image. So uh, add new section, image, done. Add new section, image, and done. So now we have the shell of our store and we can start uploading our content. This is obviously a very basic store design. I'm just kind of showing you for as an example. So we're actually gonna make a store that's not Baklava. So we're gonna upload new. Okay, so we're in our folder and we're just gonna upload our banner image. There we go. We'll click crop. Now also make sure when you're editing any of these images, there's also a mobile version here. If we look at this, mobile. And so see how that's still pulling that old image. And we wanna make sure we update both of those. There we go. We can come back and hit done. And you can actually make a mobile version for that. You can make something more mobile friendly, which is cool. Um, so now we're gonna come into this. We're gonna click our shoppable image. This actually does not have a mobile version. So we're gonna find our image and we're gonna click upload. Okay, so that has been uploaded. We're just gonna crop this a little bit and hit crop. Now we need to add one or more products to this image. We're gonna hit add products, add product, and you'll just search your ASIN. I don't know what this is. We're gonna hit add, and you can drag this shoppable image dot onto the product in the image. And you can just repeat that this is obviously not the correct product, that's okay. You know, search a different something here. We're gonna add this. And obviously you'd be choosing the correct, uh, in correct products. I'm just showing you as an example. You'd hit done, you'd hit save, and now you have a shoppable image. If you ever want to switch views, you can come up here to the top middle and just switch between mobile and desktop. So I'm gonna jump into the desktop view. Okay, so we've uploaded our shoppable image, and now we're gonna come down to this split section. When we click add tile, once again, it's gonna give us a tile type. So you can choose text, image, image with text, shoppable image, 
Like we could actually use a small square. We could have a shoppable image in that as well. It can be a product, a video, a background video. So you have a lot of options. We're just gonna choose a basic image. And we're gonna go through and do that for all of these. Choose image. And for these. Okay, so we come up here and I'm looking at my design, apple, strawberry, blackberry, mango. So I'm gonna upload those. Finally, we have our last two images, the subscribe and save image and our icons image. Now you might notice like, where are my, those big images? Like I don't, I'm not getting that preview like I did for these split sections. They're down here, they're, they're hiding, but you can always find them from this right panel. You can come down here and you can see, okay, I have these two images here. So you can click on this and then it'll pull up the option to upload. And we're just gonna upload that subscribe and save image. We're gonna crop this, use the full width, hit crop. And that's done. And then come back to the builder, hit this last image and upload our final icons image. Okay, so we've uploaded that. And then once again, you can crop. Okay, so we've completed step number five. We've added content to every content block. Step six is we're going to add ASINs or a link to the category page if we have, if one of these content blocks said shop kids products, we might direct them to a link within the store. If it's a product, you'd direct them straight to the listing. So to do that, we just click this image. We come down here to the bottom and we say, where it says add a link, recommended, you would add an ASIN. So I'm just gonna click one of these random uh, ASINs just to show you as an example. We would add that and now when people click on this image, it's gonna direct them straight to that listing. You can come here, you can do the same thing, add an ASIN, search, add, and you would do that for every content block if it's relevant. So like subscribe and save up to 15%. This one you could actually make a shoppable image if you wanted, you know, where all these have um, a dot where you can shop each product. And then finally, like these logos, like you might not add a product or a category page for this, you might just leave that. So that's step number six. So step number seven is do, repeating steps four through six for multiple pages. So maybe we wanna add a page and we wanna call that page all products, for example. You would add, you know, page meta description, and then I like to just do a blank template. You can choose uh, a template if you would like. So I'm gonna choose blank, I'm gonna click create page, and then you would repeat the same process. So for this, we might just say um, all products, I'm gonna add a new section, and this is just gonna be um, best selling products, and we're gonna add a recommended products. And this would automatically populate. Okay, great. So we've created the one page we're gonna do. It's gonna autofill. If you had a specific design you wanted to do here, you could just add that design and repeat the steps four through six like we just did on the home page. And so that's pretty much it. We come back here to our steps. Um, you know, we've completed number seven. Finally, step eight, we're just gonna click submit for publishing. So if we come here in the top right corner, we're just gonna click submit for publishing. You will get a, a temporary, uh, sort of like an error message that says you haven't, so we can actually just click that and show you. So like we said, we're going to get an error message. Amazon wants you to add more links to you know, your listing pages and category pages. That's best practice. We didn't do it in this example, but that's what you would do. And then you can just click submit for publishing again and it will push through to the store. All right, guys, that's it. We just uploaded an Amazon brand store. Very basic design, just a home page and an all products page, which I just threw in some templates, but you know, you can get really intricate with Amazon brand stores. This is just showing as an example of what you can do. If you run into any problems, leave a comment below. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got value out of this video, and I'll see you soon.